One of the most talked about props in movie history has sold for big bucks. Ben, 575. Mr. Green, congratulations. An auction was held for the broken wooden panel that Rose floats on in Titanic, but was never quite big enough to save Jack. The piece sold for $575,000, with auction fees that price tag was over $700,000. But can you really put a price on such a legendary piece of film history? Last year, in honor of the film's 25th anniversary, director James Cameron tested theories on whether Jack could have climbed onto it too. In a Nat Geo special, here's Les Trent. Cameron sent two stunt actors into an ice cold pool to simulate what Jack and Rose went through in the North Atlantic waters. They had similar body types to Leo and Kate, and there was also a hypothermia expert on hand since the water in the pool was 56 degrees. He got up on there and he immediately went into the really strong shaking, shivering. It's not the first Titanic test. Let's see if we can both get on this thing. A decade ago, Mythbusters came up with this conclusion. If they had used Rose's life preserver and stuck it under the door, they could have survived on top of that door. Now James Cameron is doing his own test to find out once and for all if Jack would have lived if Rose had just been a little more generous with her personal space. It's pretty interesting. In the film, the prop was made of balsa wood featuring ornate floral accents and curves. It was crafted to reflect the opulent design scheme of the original shipbuilder. Now it has a new home with winner, the mysterious Mr. Green. Mr. Green, congratulations. But there's no debate. This is one legendary piece of wood. I'm Lee Sheps for Inside Edition Digital.